So here is a review of my Zyber 8S 6.4 terahash Bitcoin miner. It's a smaller form factor miner, just like the Bidax. Um, this one has eight ASIC chips in it. And as a result, uh, they've updated the, the heat sink that's on here with graphene to kind of dissipate the heat. But I have some pictures later in the video to show how much heat I'm getting out. Um, there are upgrades to the model. As you can see, there's some cosmetic changes where there's little feet on the back. I don't keep it on top of my speaker here, but this is just for a stand right now to show the uh, miner itself. It does come with a power supply, and I've also taken some thermal images with my old school flucometer, uh, TIR, and I found that even this brick does get hot because we're at 6 terahash and it's 140 watts at the at the and again I don't have anything plugged into the wall it's just plugged directly into the wall there's no meter on there so I'm following that what I do like is there's an upgraded screen um, where you can actually see clearly what I found is that I even have the smaller 4 terahash bit axe and the uh, uh, the stacked bit axe as well. It's hard to read those screens if you just was trying to figure out, you know, is it performing? Has it disconnected from my network? I'm not always there all the time. So again, it's it's especially if you're solo mining, you don't have the the opportunities like going onto DX pool, getting to or a uh, official pool and getting a message that hey, you know what, your miner has been disconnected. Um, I have about 50 devices on Wi-Fi and another 30 on my NAN, so I do have a lot of traffic. Um, there are two fans on here, which makes a big difference on cooling. It's reading about 50 odd degrees C, um, but as I've been running this for about, I would say about a day or so now, um, it is putting out a significant amount of heat. Uh, no performance issues, and I haven't updated the firmware as directed by the manufacturer tiny chip uh, you could go online there is a website dedicated there I mean I, I did not get this sent by me by them but I thought I would review it because I didn't see any one actually reviewing this on YouTube anywhere if you could see there's also some additional heat sinks on top I don't know if there was a next to the voltage regulators but I've, I've seen that they've ad added some miniature heat sinks which I've seen some other folks MacGyver there bit axes to dissipate the heat more effectively so far I've been uh, for the last day or so I've had about a 6 to 5.9 terahash actually efficiency so what we have here is the uh, power adapter as you can see it's fairly warm around 122 there's another image um, 123 when I picked it up it was fairly warm and then I took some photos of the front and the sides of the heat sink um, there was a significant amount of heat that was being put out especially through the back and as you can see in this photo it's about 131 Fahrenheit so fairly warm for me so more or less that's just my review of this bit axe I really like it because it came pre-assembled I just had to plug it in this time the other bit axes that I had I actually used Lego to put together you put a fan on top um, but I was pretty happy with how it's performing right now. Again, it's a hobby. Um, there's some photos I, I've included about the power supply too. Uh, it's kind of keyed, so it, this dual phase, you won't screw that up. So as you go take a look at it, take a look online. I don't know how they're shipping now uh, across the world, um, but I did get this earlier on along with my other bit axes and really had no issues with it. Thanks.